here in Sharm El Sheikh in Egypt and with the radio communication assembly prior to the World Radio Communication Conference. I'm very pleased to be joined in the studio today by Mr. Walid Sami, who is a senior project manager for technology and innovation for EBU. Uh, Walid, welcome to the studio. Thank you. Now, I wanted to start off by talking to you a little bit about uh, these, these two events, the Radio Communication Assembly and the World Radio Communication Conference. It's actually going over a period of five weeks here uh, in Shamal Sheikh. Uh, why uh, are these conferences important? Well, the EBU, first of all, is partner of the ITU since the creation of the ITU sector, the ITU Radio Communication sector. And the engineers of the EBU participate actively in the study groups of the ITUR. Uh, we contribute to the uh, work of the study groups and we also uh, are involved in the management of some of, some of the groups. We, uh, we occupy or, uh, some positions like a chair, a chairman of, uh, of study groups or chairman of working parties or, uh, or, or sub-working parties and uh, sub-working groups and so on. So this, this is an ongoing work since several years. Um, so we are uh, naturally, uh, naturally concerned and interested in, in, in these two events. Now, uh, these two events have different uh, objectives, of course. So the RA uh, deals with the structure and the working methods of the study groups. Um, and the WRC is about uh, updating and revising the radio regulations. The radio regulations are about spectrum. And broadcasters are concerned also with spectrum. Uh, we, we use spectrum for broadcasting on terrestrial. We are concerned with spectrum on satellite as well for either our uh, services for distribution or for contribution as well. So spectrum is a, a major uh, subject for us. So these are the, the obvious reasons for which we are uh, interested in participating and contributing to these two events. And what do you hope will be the outcomes uh, of these two events? Okay, the, the RA, as I said, is about working methods. So we, we would like to be sure and make sure that uh, the study group six, which is the broadcasting, uh, let's say, group where the community of broadcasters gather and contribute, uh, will, will, have, will still have the, uh, the good conditions to continue working and contributing to the development of the broadcasting uh, industry uh, worldwide. Uh, for the WRC, uh, for this WRC, uh, although we don't have a, an agenda item specifically related to the spectrum of broadcasters, however, we have one important subject, which is the preparation of the next uh, World Radio Communication Conference, where we know that uh, already uh, an agenda item is foreseen uh, for, uh, for the spectrum used by broadcasters. And we, we want to make sure that all the options are still open uh, for the discussion at, at, this, at this next WRC in order to uh, be sure that uh, spectrum is secured for the, uh, the usage uh, f by, by the broadcasters and the development of the broadcasting uh, systems and services. Members that, that you represent, of course. And I just wanted to ask, you mentioned study groups. How important is the work of uh, ITU study groups in terms of uh, the, 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 the resolutions and, and the studies and the, and the reports, etc., for the broadcasting industry? Well, we have two main uh, areas of work. We have the production uh, side and we have the distribution side. And in both areas, the, the work and the, the outcome of the study groups uh, is important. Uh, for the production side, uh, we have uh, recommendations which are uh, really respected by the uh, uh, manufacturers. They, they are followed by the manufacturers and they are followed by the broadcasters as well. Uh, so uh, I can mention the uh, recommendations, some historical recommendations about the uh, high definition television and uh, recently about the uh, new generation audio, enhanced uh, audio systems. So uh, these uh, recommendations have really a, a very good weight uh, in, the, in the industry. So uh, this, is, this is one example. For the distribution part, uh, the, uh, the, the, new, the new systems for distribution like the digital systems, uh, they are, uh, they are uh, described in the, uh, in the ITU uh, recommendations and uh, reports and, and, and this gives them a sort of, uh, let's say, uh, 
weight in, uh, in, in, in the whole world, uh, so uh, not necessarily in Europe, although we, we, we are European Broadcasting Union, but uh, the, the, the outcome will be used by all broadcasters, uh, broadcasters in the world. Uh, so so these, these are a few examples, but uh, definitely the outcome, well, one, one big outcome is the radio regulations, of course. So it's not only uh, the, uh, the, the recommendations and, 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 uh, and reports, but also the impact of these recommendations and reports on uh, the decisions uh, of allocating frequencies. And very briefly, we were talking about before the, the length of the, the process of these, uh, these conferences all amalgamated. Uh, uh, we're talking about approximately six weeks in, to in, yes. in total uh, in the end of the, uh, um, uh, uh, the, the meeting. Why, I mean, for all intents and purposes, of course, this is a very, very important decisions are being, being taken here. But uh, for people on the outside, they might think this is an extremely lengthy process. Um, why, why is it so? Why does it take so long? Why is it so long? Well, um, th this is a question that I, I had from my, my relatives saying that what is that conference that uh, lasts for, uh, for, for six weeks or something? Uh, but when, when I explain uh, that uh, well, thousands of delegates come and the, the, the work uh, and the outcome is a revision of usage of frequencies worldwide, with interests and uh, sometimes completely conflictual interests between, uh, between, uh, between countries, between administrations, uh, that require, uh, requires, first of all, four years of preparation uh, with, uh, with, with, as I said, positions that could be completely uh, con conflictual. And then uh, in these uh, four weeks, let's talk about the WRC itself, uh, the aim is to really get the positions close enough to get a consensus because the, uh, the work of the ITU is based on the consensus, not on uh, voting, whatever. So if it was voting, I think it would take less, much less time, a uh, much shorter time. But because of the uh, principle of work at the, uh, at the ITU, it needs this time and sometimes it's not enough. And I, 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 I know, I remember in, in, in some WRCs that uh, some nights are used fully, so 24-hour work uh, on some subjects when they are really, really difficult to solve. Yeah. Well, let's hope that uh, there's consensus on, uh, on every, uh, at, a, at every degree and on every point and, uh, we and that uh, you, you have a, a very good uh, set of few weeks here. But yeah. thank you very much for joining us in the studio and, uh, as I say, very good luck for the rest of the conference. It's my pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you.